on this video, I'll be ranking the best budget clubs that I've played with on this channel over the past year. There are gonna be 12 club brands listed here, and each of these offers exceptional value. Now, I do have a video where I rank the best clubs overall where budget was no option. I will link that down in the description below. But today, we're unearthing the hidden gems, and that's something that I love to do here on Let's Play Through. If that's something that you're interested in seeing more of, I highly recommend you hit subscribe. We have an amazing community that helps recommend ideas, even sends me clubs to test from time to time so that we can find the best value golf clubs out there. Now, not too long ago, when you bought a cheap club or you bought a quote-unquote no-name brand club, you were really going to sacrifice performance to save that money. These days, with so many options on the market from direct-to-consumer brands, from bigger name brands that just have great budget offerings, we are spoiled for choice in that there are so many great golf clubs that won't break the bank. So without further ado, I'm going to list my favorites from this year. Coming in at the number 12 spot, is Giga Golf with their Pursuit M410. A set of these irons and four through pitching wedge is gonna run you $436.80, which makes it only $62.40 per club. The Pursuit M410s come from a template that you're gonna see often here throughout the video, but some brands do it better than others, it seems. At least that's what I found in my testing. These clubs in particular are sold by the iron and you can design the set however you like. I really like that. Or I can literally choose, okay, four through pitching wedge or five through gap wedge or whatever the case may be. They have a very blade-like look to them. However, these are a hollow-bodied, foam-filled construction. It's nice and clean, but I will say the materials don't feel as premium as some of the other clubs in the same category that look very similar. And in terms of performance, I feel like they lack just a little bit of distance to some of the others here on the list as well. But overall, a really solid club for a great value. Next up on our list is the Ram FX77. And yeah, if you take a look at this club, it's gonna be very reminiscent of the club that came before it. This is what I was talking about when I said there's a template out there that a lot of brands seem to be tapping into. Now the Ram FX77 comes standard as five through pitching wedge, which makes them $66.67 per club. I did find the FX77 to perform just a little bit better than that Pursuit M410, although I still felt it lacked just a tad bit of distance and forgiveness from, again, some other clubs higher up on the list. But this is still a very solid, very playable club that at $3.99 for the set is an extremely tempting price. By the way, of all the clubs we mentioned, I've got links down below to their individual reviews, so you can go back and look at those videos to see exactly what I thought as I experienced them on course. Next up on my list were the Head by Powerbuilt Irons. Now, I unearthed these irons when I was searching the PGA Tour Superstore doing a video on the most expensive versus the cheapest irons, and I found these on a deep discount at $199. That's only $28.58 a club. Now, the regular price of $4.99 is still a good value because these irons performed nearly as well as irons that cost three times as much in that test. Again, I'll link to the video up here if you wanna check that one out. I really like the black finish of these clubs over time. Sometimes black clubs don't hold up as well as chrome finish clubs, but they looked really nice. They had a good amount of offset. The feel was pretty darn good, and the distance and forgiveness these clubs provide was way up there. At $199, I think you're gonna be very hard pressed to find something that performs as well on a pound for pound basis. The only hard part is finding these things. The next club up on my list is the Sub 70 699. A set of four through pitching wedges is gonna run you $560, which makes them $80 per club. So they're actually more expensive than those Rams and those Pursuit M410s, but I do think the performance was just a little bit better, especially when it comes to the category of feel. The Sub-70 irons also have just a little bit better finishing overall, and I felt I got better distance in those other two clubs as well. Now, number eight on my list comes from Styx, and they've got two series at Styx right now. They've got the Play Series and the Perform Series. The Play Series really being targeted towards beginners and the Perform Series being targeted more towards the higher and mid handicaps out there. Right now you can get a set of those irons, five through pitching wedge for $499. That's $83.16 per club. And you can get them with either steel or graphite shafts. In general, graphite will cost you more money with most manufacturers, but I like that Sticks keeps it the same price. The feel of Sticks clubs is basically as good as it gets for a budget club. Very consistent clubs. I love the trajectory that I get out of them and they are super forgiving out on course with enough distance to make you feel like you're getting the most out of your shots. I personally like these all black finished clubs, but again, the one knock here with the Sticks brand that I've heard 
with the black finish is that over time they start to wear down. But I will say the second version of these clubs has a more durable coating, so they should last and look better longer than the previous model. Speaking of the previous model, if you want to save some more money, on their site right now they've got last year's model for $249.50, which is half off. That is a great deal for a six club set, the five through pitching wedge. Coming in at number seven on my list are the Calais O1s. Again, very similar design to the others you've seen here on the list. This set is four through pitching wedge. It's $549 and that means it's $78.43 per club. I think the Calais had great feel, they were very accurate clubs, and they were forgiving. Pretty much, I think, on par with the sub-70s, and they're gonna be just slightly cheaper than the sub-70s, which is why I gave them the bump up here on the list. Calais is a Scottish brand, in case you're wondering, and while it doesn't really matter in terms of performance, I love their understated logo here on the clubs. It just makes it nice and clean. Number six on my list is gonna come from an American brand, PXG. Specifically, the 0211 X-Core 2 irons, which you can get for $99.99 per club, which makes a four through pitching wedge set $699.93. That's the regular pricing, but if you are a military or a first responder, you have access to even better pricing. They call it Heroes Pricing, and you can get these for $79.99 per club, which is an exceptional value. Of all the clubs on this list, the X-Core 2s are going to look the most premium. They really look the part. You can see the engineering that went into these things and you can see it in the little details. PXG is also going to give you the most options when it comes to shafts, when it comes to grips, and when it comes to adjustments and setup to the Lion Loft. The X-Core 2s are probably the longest clubs on this list, which is really going to suit you folks who need to pick up a few yards. They're still very forgiving and they feel exceptional. If we were just to look at the Heroes pricing, these might be the best overall bang for the buck. I think they just offer so much, so many options, and I really love what PXG has done here. Coming in at number five on the list is a heavy hitter when you're talking about pound for pound value. It's the Tommy Armor 845. Now this isn't your granddaddy's 845s. These are the more modern 845s. They just came out a couple years ago. They're the in-house brand of Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy, which are linked together. And that means that you can actually try these clubs out. That is a tough thing with many direct-to-consumer brands. You don't really have a chance to buy it. You kind of have to take my word for it or other reviewers here on YouTube or you just gotta cross your fingers and hope. But the Tommy Armors, you can literally go into the store and hit them. And if you do that, you might be as shocked as I was with that performance. I actually took these clubs out on course. I shot a great round with them. They're long, they're forgiving, they have great feel and sound. The aesthetics of these, again, look top notch. They're really the full package. And at $399.99 for a five through attack wedge, you're only paying $57.14 per club, so that is maximum, maximum value right there. Love the Tommy Armor 845. Number four on our list is going to be Malt B, and I know that's gonna make a lot of folks who watch this channel happy because so many of you have been asking me to review Malt B irons. I finally got a chance to do that with the KE4 Max. This set at four through gap wedge is eight clubs at $309.99. This makes it the cheapest club on our list. $38.75 per club. These clubs have really great forgiveness, which was demonstrated during my on-course review. They've got ample distance, it won't blow you away, but like I said, that value is very hard to beat. Malpy offers a wide range of irons. I can't wait to check out more of these irons here in the coming year. Another cool thing about Malpy is that you can leave in some very specific instructions to the folks that will assemble your clubs and you can really dial in the set the way you like it with specific loss, specific lies, so on and so forth. And being part of Golf Works, you've got access to a number of different shaft options. A lot of those are going to be up charges, but still when you're starting at such a budget-based price, there's a lot of room to still make these a very inexpensive club. Number three on my list is really an entire brand, and that's gonna go to Wilson Staff. We'll talk specifically first about the Wilson D9 irons. These irons came out three, four years ago now, 
but you can get a set of them for five through Gap Wedge at $599.98. That's the regular retail price, and they're often on sale for $100 less. But at that $599 price, these come in at $85.71 per iron. You're going to get one of the longest clubs. You're going to get one of the most forgiving clubs, and you're going to get a club that uses again, premium materials from a bigger manufacturer. If you can get them at the right price, these might vault even to the top of my list. They're that good. And if you can stretch your budget just a little bit, you could get yourself into the D9 Forged, which is going to offer exceptional feel, playability and workability to those already long and forgiving irons. It's really a complete package. That D9 Forge will run you $799. And then you've also got the Dynapower irons at that same price. The Dynapower irons, in my opinion, are the best game improvement irons at any price on the market. And still, again, at $799, that's a lot of bang for the buck. So Wilson staff really just killing it. I can't wait to see if they roll out anything in 2024. If they do, I will be the first to review it. Number two on our list is another fan favorite on this channel. It's also a huge favorite of mine because it's such a dark horse. And that is Kirkland Signature. Just a few weeks ago, they released the Kirkland Signature irons. We've all been waiting for them for over a year. And let me tell you, they delivered. The four through pitching wedge set online is $499.99. Again, online, in store, I think we'll see that price even lower. And that's about a third of the price of a tailor-made P790, which these clubs seem to really emulate. In fact, I made a video comparison just last week of those two irons, and the Kirkland Signatures performed right there with the P790s. In terms of looks, they're also right there. But here's the one caveat about the Kirkland Signature irons. These irons are not as mid or higher handicap friendly as many of the other ones here on the list. Of all the irons on this list, these are going to be the ones that I'm going to recommend for you 12 handicaps and lower because there's not so much offset. The sole is not so wide. They're not quite as forgiving, but they are more workable. They feel better. They sound better. They look better. Now, the other drawback of the Kirkland Signature irons is you're not going to have shaft options unless you reshaft these clubs yourself. You're not going to be able to adjust the lie or anything else. These clubs come in either regular or stiff in one particular shaft model, and that's it. But if you're a golfer, like I said, around that 12 handicap who's really looking to get a set of irons that you can be proud of on a budget that will compete with something like a tailor-made p790 a titleist t200 a mizuno 225 that sort of thing the kirkland signature absolutely does that on a budget it's finally time for the number one iron to be revealed here on the list for me that's going to be the tacomo 101 this set of irons comes in four through pitching wedge for 489 dollars which makes it 69 dollars and 86 cents per club. Now the Tacomo is another of these template irons, very similar to the Giga Golfs, the Rams, the Calais, the Sub 70s, but somehow, and I don't know, even know how it's possible because I've tested them all side by side outdoors as well as here in my simulator, and somehow there is magic in the Tacoma 101s. They feel better. They absolutely have the best feel of any of the direct-to-consumer clubs that I tested this year. They're also the longest of that entire template category. I know it doesn't make sense, but they're just better for some reason, and their price is better than a couple of those options as well. If you saw my head-to-head -head comparison against the Kirkland Signature irons that were rolled out, you'll see that these were even more consistent. I hit more greens, they were longer, and all in all, I think they will suit more golfers out there. The Tacoma 101 gets my pick for best budget golf club of the year this year. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I would love to know your comments down below about this list. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Is there a brand that I missed here in the list that you think deserves to be on it? I would absolutely love to know. I'm looking forward to testing more clubs here in the year ahead. So don't be shy with those suggestions of some irons that I need to try out. As I mentioned up front, if you love value, make sure you're subscribed. I'll catch you back here next time on another edition of Let's Play Through.